Welcome to day three of making one bill in one week from nothing. Now, as you guys will know, we ended up finishing day two off with a bank wealth of 101 mil in the end. So setting out in this episode, our bank is sat at 101 mil. We have a fairly good foundation to start with. And the goal for today is to try to go to Theater of Blood and be somewhat efficient with it. Get some gear which is adequate to the Theater of Blood and I will be able to do well. Now with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I am not going to give any spoilers away. All I will say is make sure you guys watch until the very end. With that being said, if you do enjoy it, make sure you leave it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you are new to the channel, and I hope you enjoy. We have just finished up with... Oh my god, my voice is fucked. So we've just finished up with roughly three hours of Vorakaf. I'm going to do a price check, and because we did three hours, I should be looking at roughly three mil. So let's take a look. It turns out that I can't actually physically fit all of the drops in one inventory. So what I've done is I've thrown them into this tab here. And as you can see, 9.9 .9 mil, pretty much 10 mil loot in three hours, which is phenomenal. So what I'm about to do is I'm going to sell all of this loot off and make some upgrades. So there it is, 9.9 .9 mil. I have been debating what shield I'm going to buy for the Theater of Blood. I'm not entirely sure what I should go with, and I was considering going with a Melediction Ward because it gives good Mage Plus, relatively good defense, but I think I'm going to stick to my guns and I'm going to purchase a Mage's Book. Worst case scenario, we can just sell it, so it's not too big a deal. I'm also going to go ahead and buy myself a Aram's Top, which is the best thing that I can have currently for a plate when it comes to catches freezes. I'll let that sit in the G for a while and buy. Mage's Book has been acquired. And in total, we have roughly 5 mil cash left, which is perfect. I need enough money to be able to charge the Trident, and I also need money to be able to put Rune Darts. I feel like Adamant is incredibly lacking. I feel like I'm almost leeching if I don't have Rune or above Darts in the Blowpipe when it comes to the Theater of Blood. I've actually tested the Armor Crossbow a fair bit when it comes to Raids 2, and it's surprisingly quite good. I mean, if it procs the spec... You're looking at 100 damage on the boss every time. Oh, uh, there it is. 750k. Oh, that's a lot of money. But there it is. The Crystal Hellbred has been acquired. And if you guys are curious what my sub's going to be like when it comes to the Theater of Blood, this is pretty much it. For now, at least, until I can get some more money and I can upgrade the drops. The only thing here that can really be upgraded that I'd like to is to get this into a Kraken Whip or a Tentacle Whip. However, we don't really have the money to be able to sacrifice a Whip at this point, so that's the melee setup. Bearing in mind, when it comes to the final boss, you will do most of your damage with melee. Hence why I just bought the Crystal Hellbird, which is going to help a lot. The mage setup... Not the most impressive setup in the world, but I think it's going to be fine. And then the range setup, of course, as you can see. And with rune darts, this should be pretty damn good. And obviously the ruby dragon bolt C in case I do have the range on the final boss. Woo! Jesus Christ. Oh my god, that actually went quite smoothly. And I got a personal best out of it as well. I'm actually surprised how well that went. Nice, nice. No purple, unfortunately. This was an FFA, by the way. It was the best I could find. Let's have a look inside the chest. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. 400k. That's actually pretty good. Second raid complete. Can we get a purple in our name? That would be amazing. No purples, unfortunately. Let's take a look at the loot we managed to get. Damn, four room play bodies. That actually looks pretty good. 362k. And that's 45 raids completed with zero items in my name. So I definitely feel like this will pay off. No purples. Feels bad. That's three raids we've completed now though. It's going quite well. I'm really surprised that this gear is actually holding up. Like, it genuinely isn't that bad. So if you guys are wondering why the times tick down, it's not because I'm just waiting here. I did do a raid with a random FFA team. I don't really want to talk about it. <laughs> I'm probably not going to include the deaths in this video. But hey, I've got a team. I'm just waiting at the moment. So I'm going to pause the timer. And then hopefully we're going to get into another raid. You're, are you serious? How the fuck did I get MVP? Someone here has got a scythe. Holy shit, what the hell? The ACV carry boys, new meta. Man, that's just depressing. I'm sure a few of you are curious at this point if I'm gonna just be camping here indefinitely. As of now, I can't actually afford to. As you can see, my scales are chunking down. So is my trident um, 
Trident Cast, they haven't moved too much because I've been meleeing primarily. And also I've been using Ice Barrage. So my supplies are slowly diminishing. I will not be able to stay there forever. I hope that in the next 10 raids I'll be able to receive a drop, which should be a split of at least 20 mil. Unless we get the helmet, in which case it might be less than that. But still, it's going to be enough money for us to self-sustain ourselves. If that doesn't happen, or if it is just the helmet... I will most likely change things up a little bit and go and do something else. I'm thinking Armadil just because the price of Armadil pieces are so much. Let's see what happens. No purple again. The guys I'm raiding with as well are complaining because they've not had a drop in ages. 100% there is going to be a drop coming very soon. <laughs> Where is the purple at, boys? I don't see it. And that's not very good loot. Can we finally... Oh, we got a purple. We got a purple. We actually got a purple. I think that was the that was the 10th raid. That was the temp raid. Please be a cypher or rapier. As long as it's not a piece of dust to occur. Okay. Hey, do you know what? I'm not going to complain. I think that's about 170 mil. So that's still quite a good split. I have no complaints about that. As long as it's not a piece of dust to occur, because dust to occur is worth lus the hilt sold for 147 mil i thought it was 170 but 147 mil really isn't too bad i think at the moment what it is is because they're bringing out this new raids 2 feature where lower levels can do it let's have a look how much it is i think it's over 20 mil might be like 30 29 mil so pretty much an armadillo crossbow Thank you very much, Bushido. Much appreciated. This is the part which I always fucking love. I'm going to be upgrading some of my items. Uh, no. How do you spell anguish? I think it's like that. There you go. I'm going to buy myself an anguish. If I have the money, which I don't think I will if that's 15 mil, which is really expensive. I wanted to buy a torture as well. And the torch is 15 mil. So yeah, I'll just bypass that for now. I'm going to rep the fury. The anguish, which is going to be really nice for the range plus. And the damage, not too shabby. Fair few deaths this raid. I will be surprised if we get a purple. And lo and behold, no purple this time. Unfortunate. No purple for me. No purple at all. Maybe the next one. Any purples? No purples. Ugh. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's 58 raids without an item in my name so far. So we will most definitely, fingers crossed, be getting at least one drop in our name by the end of this. Oh, that actually looks like a really good drop. Let me price check this real quick. Oh my god, almost a mil loot. By far the best loot raid that we've had, apart from getting a drop. Just from normal drops, that's a mil. I'm going to make myself an upgrade right now. And the reason I'm doing this is because I swear to God, every single person that I bump into at raids gives me shit for having a regular abyssal. To keep them happy, I'm going to upgrade this into the tentacle, which, to be honest, we now have achieved, minus the torture, max strength of void. Oh, personal best. 60th raid. Purple, please. There is a purple. Is it one of us? I don't think so. Oh my god, this guy just got an FFA drop. If it's a scythe, I'm actually gonna lose my fucking mind, I swear to god. Good luck, man. Let's see what this guy gets. Ah, he got the defender. Not too bad, but 150 mil though. Congrats, dude, congrats. And I got MVP, man, and these guys are taking the piss out of my crossbow. Get fucking wrecked. Bunch of casuals. We're actually retarded. Anything that isn't a piece of Justica, and I'll be really happy. Good luck, man. Good luck. Yeah, open it up, dude. Ah, that's not bad. I mean, it's like another 30 mil, so I'll take it. Our split from the hilt, 27 mil and 800k. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to buy myself the Amulet of Torture, which is going to be a big upgrade from the Fury. Fortunately, that's pretty much the only upgrade we can make. I don't have enough cash to really buy anything else at this point. Can we get the back-to-back, -back, guys? Can we get the back-to-back? -back? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling lucky. Please. Oh my god, we actually got a back-to-back. -back. Holy shit, we actually got a fucking back-to-back. -back. I brought my uh, Jad pet with me. I don't even know where the hell that little fucker is. He's somewhere in the other room. But please be something good. Chess card. Do you know what? That's not actually that bad. I mean, it's the best, most expensive piece from the Justica set. I think it's around about 105 or 110 mil right now. 21 mil, 21 and a half mil. Not too bad, considering we just did both of those raids within an hour. We've pretty much made 50 mil in this hour, which is really good when you think of it in the grand scheme of things. Pregasian's going for nowadays. Oh, 
Holy, that's like my entire cash stack basically. Oh my god, they're expensive. Look at these bad boys. I'm not really using the ACB too much to be honest, but I need it. I can't use a rune crossbow when he does the web phase because occasionally I do need to long distance attack. But yeah, those Pegasians should be a very nice addition to the gear that we currently have. All right, boys, four man raids, zero deaths, I believe. That was quite good. Can we get a purple? No purple, unfortunately. Oh, 75 raids dry in my name. I've not had a drop in my name ever. It's coming. I can feel it. I can feel it. Hopefully it's going to be worth the wait and it's not like the Justicar Helm, which is like 70 mil. Rake the MVP. Let's go. Purple on the very last raid. No fucking way. Dude, that is amazing. Dude, the last raid of the fucking episode. Day three. Please be something good. Please. Oh! Oh my god! No fucking way! Dude, that's a four-man scythe! Oh my god, that is insane, dude! Me in the trade. That is worth like four bill right now. Oh my god, that is amazing. Oh, I'm so happy. What the fuck? That split's like over a bill. That's over a bill split from that one item. Literally, there's two minutes left on the clock. This is probably one of the only times, actually, to be honest, with the, with the money that I actually have outside of this series, I could probably afford one. But I have no intentions on buying one of these until it drops down to at least max cash. But there it is, the Uncharged Scythe. Just look at that. That is fucking beautiful, is that not? Let me just grab some gear and see what it looks like. This is the best gear that I currently have in terms of melee. Not for very long, I should say. It's such a nice looking item. Like, I like it so much. It's got, like, a little lantern on it and, like, the chain. Oh, this is... Dude, this is a max cash item right here. Even though it's selling from almost double max cash right now, just look at how fucking nice that is. That's some Grim Reaper shit right there. Mr. Muck Guru giving me my split of the side. Single-handedly the biggest split I've ever had on this game or pre-EOC. That's 50 mil short of one bill. That is insane. There you go. 950 mil split. And if you guys are curious, I think we sold it for 3.8 bill. 3.8 bill for that item. Single-handedly the most expensive item in game. I'm going to deposit this money, and as you can see, the bank is 1.1 bill. By the third episode, I was not expecting to actually complete this. That is why I was so confident I was going to complete this challenge, which I'm so incredibly grateful to actually be able to tick this one off the list. You guys know this is the third attempt of me trying to make a bill in one week from nothing, and we finally done it. I I'm honestly like in disbelief right now. This is insane. For a more accurate price check, as you can see, the bank is roughly 190 mil, and if you add that to 950, it comes out to one bill, 140 mil. I'm gonna go on a bit of a spending spree right now and buy some items that I've been wanting to have for an incredibly long time. Guys might be able to tell the gear slightly upgraded. This is an armor set that I've been trying to get my hands on for an incredibly long time. The full Justicar with the Elysian. This setup is the tankiest PVM setup that you can have in game. The Justicar set, the full set, not only has the best defense in game, but it also has a special effect similar to the Elysian, which stacks with the Elijah, which reduces 15% of damage when wearing the whole set. With the Elijah, the Elijah reduces damage of 17.5%, meaning that in this armor, in this setup, we're taking 32.5% less damage overall. And this is a setup that I have been keen to use and get my hands on for a very long time. Also, you might be able to see, I've got myself our Venic Defender Hilt which I'm going to be upgrading now. I bought this for 134 mil, meaning that I now have the best in slot offhand, which as you can see, the Avernic Defender, which looks insane. It's like a little bat. Holy hell, we look absolutely balling. Funny thing is, when I first began doing this series, which started back with making an Elijah in one week, we ended up making the Ellie in three days on the first attempt, which then I upped the ante and I put it to one bill. The second time we got incredibly close, I believe we made about 822 mil. And on the third attempt, with the release of the Fear of Blood, we have managed to make one bill, 140 mil, in three days from nothing. To put that into perspective, that is 72 hours starting from nothing 
to what we have currently. Obviously, that means that the challenge is completed, which I am super happy. Third time's the charm. We managed to make over one boom in one week. In fact, we did it in three days. Obviously, a lot of luck played into that. Managing to get the scythe full stop is incredibly rare. At the time of making this video, it sold for 3.8 mil. It sat around about 4 mil currently. So with those factors added in, we did get insanely lucky. That leaves me in a bit of a predicament with this series because obviously I've completed the challenge, the goal that we set out to get the one bill in one week, we have done it. I'm not entirely sure if I should continue for the full seven days or if I should just call it quits now. So I would really like to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comments. Do you want me to continue seeing how much money I can make in one week? And that means that I'll be able to use this gear, which I've never used before. I'll be able to take it to Dagonoffs, to Bandos, to Zami, etc. Etc. What do you guys want to see? Let me know down in the comments if you think I should continue or if I should cut it short. Anyways, that is going to conclude today's episode. It has been a wild one. I'm still somewhat in disbelief that we managed to get the scythe and of all times to get it, we got it within three minutes of the end of day three. I am super happy. I'm sure you guys can tell. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure you leave it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you very soon.